mi tutaj. No. Gdzie płyniemy teraz? No. I tu jedziemy na kawę. To by tak, żeby tutaj pojechać do tego no. Lake, nie? Okay. I potem w dół zapierdzielać. Nie? Tomek miał tutaj trasę zrobioną po drugiej stronie tego jeziora. To jest taka gravel route. So day five, we're starting with a ferry ride from Crawford Bay and we will be heading to Caslo. But first thing, we stop for coffee and we will have to wait for one of our friends that we left behind because he is still packing uh, slightly longer than it's supposed to. like 25 minutes across no to tu piliśmy jedziemy na kawę no. We started heading toward Trout Lake. This morning we began the adventure in Crawford Bay and took a ferry across the lake to Balfour Terminal, where we stopped for a coffee and freshly baked pastries. From Balfour we went to Caslo BC, did a small grocery shopping there and stopped for a few minutes at the lake. After the break, we were heading toward Trout Lake. On the way to Trout Lake, we found nearby Duncan Dam, just short ride off the main drag on dirt road. It was a long off-road day in front of us. We have a nice weather going through here this time. And we're heading towards Caslo, I guess, in New Denver. But where are we gonna go exactly? We don't know. Still following the Kutni Lake on the right hand side here. And last time we went here it was raining and uh, before that it was raining and today the weather is just amazing. Blue clouds or blue sky, white clouds here and there. Yeah, Lake Marine is all overdone because there's thousands of people every day on it. But mountains on both sides and it's the, the, the green and everything and, uh, and uh, snow on top. There's nothing compares to that. So we are approaching Caslo right now.
heading to Trout Lake right now, along the, still along the Kootenai Lake, admiring the beautiful sceneries around. On the way to Trout Lake, uh, we decided to pull off to check out a Duncan Dam. Apparently, there's some kind of a lookout. Don't know what to expect, but we're going to check it out. First off road today, not much of an off road because it's just gravel, but, but it's not pavement. Watch for returning traffic. Okay. Oh, that's a climb. Climb up, climb up, climb up. Come to BC Duncan Dam. And where is it? Oh, right here. I wonder if you can see anything there. He can smell us like nothing. He's going, he's going under the tree or just in front of the tree. Just in front. He's munching on something. A quick pit stop along the river. Let Bogdan throw some rocks. That's a custom. Please demo, please demo. That's what you asked for. That's the big one, green one. And go! Beautiful, eh? Wow, what a forest, holy crap. That's what you call a forest.
another pit stop along the way beautiful area again we're still heading towards Trout Lake uh, probably another 30 kilometers to, to go today and then uh, we will start looking for a wreck site area somewhere where we can camp for a night and the lake would be an asset since uh, we are all dusty with all the construction trucks passing through yeah there was a blasting area and uh, they fixing that uh, road so there's always something going on on this highway a lot of lot of trucks one after another the trees here are just spectacular now they're so tall and thick the green colors of those pine trees are just amazing so we're trying to make up time but it's impossible because uh, from one place to the other there's always something to see and as soon as we pick up we find something else along the way so those those forestry trunk roads are just something for the adventure uh, last year we had Bogdan and Harley so he couldn't do it but uh, this year he has a GSA and uh, he does it all and uh, it's awesome. Hi Michu. After a few minutes break at Duncan Dam, we started heading towards Trout Lake following Highway 31 Northwest. It was gravel road stretch with a lot of gravel and construction trucks to add. Semi trucks passing by creating clouds of dust. We have pulled in a few beautiful locations along the way and the whole gravel road had a quite a nice scenery of Rocky Mountain and a trout lake on our left side. We have encountered bears along the way as well as I managed to take a quick shot footage of little cub and mama bear was just sitting on a tree just a few seconds up ahead. Just around town of Trout Lake we got separated. I thought my friends were ahead of me as we lost contact on the comm system but later it turned out they pulled over and I was ahead of them somehow decided to wait uh, where pavement started it turned out they were 15 minutes behind me from there we went together again towards Nakasp British Columbia uh, to look for a new place to stay for a night we had in mind riders retreat campground but once we got there it was way too expensive $60 per person and everyone was packed in there like a sardine in a can that was not for us don't get me wrong, the camping was very well established, tents were provided, toilets, little on-site group kitchen and more. But having all the gear, it would be absolutely no sense to rent a tent. So I found this location, Box Lake, just 15 minutes up ahead on the same road. It was a recreational site on a beautiful lake and the total cost for all of us was $60 including firewood. My buddies are. They left me behind.
be looking for a campsite around here. KBR campground. No, not that one. Okay, we'll go look, look for the next one. Apparently, it's a riders' campsite. Seriously? of GPS here. It, it on a five star rating. Pisuje Google recreational site near me. Boom. End of the day, another change of plans. We're going to recreational site. And it's almost 7.30 now in local time. Let's hope it's gonna be worth it. 12 minutes away from the previous location. The location was not too bad looking, but so for motorcycle, but everybody together. And we like to have fire in the evening. Pop. Wow, fucking nice forest. Okay, I'll take it. Może mi się przyjdzie. It's a little bit of off-road to enjoy. <laughs> The one bigger or closer to the lake? Uh, number eight is on the lake, but you have to park up top and walk everything down. This, five. This, this is one? Five is too small. Five, one is probably too small because all four of you. Mm -hmm. Eight is probably the best. Eight is the best? Yep. Okay. And if you need two spots, you can take seven and eight. Yeah, yeah. Are, yeah they're right by side by side. All right. So, or you can park everybody on eight and have tents all on that, or park everybody <laughs> on seven and tents on eight. <laughs> we won't be that greedy because there's other people. Hey! Can we swim in the lake? Absolutely! Ooh, is, it, yeah. is it warm? Yes, especially after hot days. It is. Yeah. It awesome, is. thank you. I'll come see you and collect these. Alright. Oh, the talk to you. We just go like this. We went to Riders Retreat and, uh, and we didn't like it. <laughs> For two reasons. Price and uh, too crowded. Too crowd. Yeah, yeah. Right here is awesome. Yes. And there's two loons here. Uh, yeah, we heard them already. Yeah. And there's a uh, water lilies. And you should mention Bogdan is a winner because he purchased. Lubicic, eh? Rumupic. I heard ya. Lanes Kurunilubic. You're top